Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Historic Ann Arbor is the place to be for an incredible college football matchup here at Michigan Stadium. Michigan sees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. And with that, we kick off our season. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29. Levine's a guy that comes out here on the road. The coaching staff knows that he is in a hostile environment. I think they're hoping that that's going to play in their favor. I think they want to challenge him. You know, over the, over the year, I think they've seen that he has an ability to make plays, but when he gets on the road, he has a tendency to maybe to cough the ball up and not play as well. And I think that they feel like they can really try to challenge him, get this crowd into the game, try to crowd the line, put as much pressure on him as they can, and they feel that they've got a shot to slow him down. We'll see. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. complete he's got room to work brought down at the 23 and that play could have gone for six. Oh boy you're right and all week long this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field forget about talking trash let's see how they react after giving up that big play so the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Gives it right side. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, third down. And he is drilled at the 29-yard line. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. to his tight end, nothing doing. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. That's a big-time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in mid-season form. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Taken down around the 39-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Right easy, easy. It's on the ground. The defense scoops it. At the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. At 
to review the play. The ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here's the tight end. Has a first down. Tackle at the 40-yard line. I like to call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. number eight on the drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice run there. Harris gets six yards on the carry. We played one. Now this one's scoreless. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Green nine, green nine. Orange three, orange. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what? I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. And he hits the PAT. A nice 10 play, 69 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Daniels, ready to kick. Jones. Fields it at the three. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 26-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 41. 
two, three, nine. Toss right, nothing there. He's going to lose yards. by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. Bryant is back deep to return. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Michigan is up by a touchdown. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Johnson's in the technical at the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. side and down he goes at the 45 yard line they'll keep it on the ground again and they make the stop around the 47-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 47-yard line. As a man, he'll lose big yards. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. going left. He got it! Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. and smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. Michigan is up seven. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 67-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Webster from the one. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Oregon State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're closer to this half, 
now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points on. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Steps out around the 28-yard line. One yard on the play. It was a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal game. He's hit and taken down. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. He's out of bounds at the 42. That's good to have been five yards. That brings him second and five. three yards to get the first down here on third down throws and it's incomplete so that'll make it fourth down the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt Riley is waiting for the snap He's tackled at the 27. Michigan's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something in that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. So it's second and 10, ball on the 27. scrimmage sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defenders timing just a little bit at the start of the play from their own 42 yard line first down quick strike to the receiver he gets hit out of bounds around the 48 yard line Come out on an empty backfield. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 45. Gain three yards. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Yellow three. Yellow three. Yellow three. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. it results in an easy first down. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. So we've played two quarters. The Wolverines lead 
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Bryant from the seven. And down he goes at the 29. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. We're about set to start things up again. Ready! He gets to about the 41-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. as he threw and he completes it. He's taken down at the 46 yard line. That brings him second and five. Red two. Go. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. This is a pretty tough guy and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he's tackled in the open field. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. That brings him second and five. From the 37 yard line, third down. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. Number 89, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. call as they fail on fourth down. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. their own 40-yard line. Second down. Levine picks up a yard on the play. Well, the D 
defense did all there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Riley to punt. Tackle made at the 43. We're about set to start things up again. Quick strike and he drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Through his hands. Number 89 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. And he's tackled right around the 40. yard line first down Black five. steps out of bounds at about the 37 yard line from the halfback. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30. <laughs> got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Slides down to the ground. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires across the middle. He's tackled around the eight-yard line. The 10. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Taken down at about the seven yard line. One on the play. That brings up second and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. And he throws it away. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. play fake and he's gonna run this one in touchdown no one could break clear so the QB decided to run it in you've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands especially down inside the 10 and he tacks on the extra point so an 11 play, 57 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. 
And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Oregon State's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down. They're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Tackle at the 41-yard line. That's good for a game of 13 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. ten. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out quickly, and down he goes at the 49-yard line. That brings us so at the end of the third quarter, Michigan leads it 24-0. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. And two, go. Motion. Run the middle and nothing there. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They make the stop at about the 49. A two-yard run by the halfback. They're crowding the line. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. First down. From the 46-yard line, first down. down. Four. Yellow three. Flyers quick. He's got another one. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Go! Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's in trouble. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Less than three minutes in the game. He passes it. Almost intercepted. Big stop by the defense. That's a big-time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in midseason form. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run to the outside. Second and five, ball on the 47. He's on the run. Runs outside for a nice game. He 
He makes his way to about the 32. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Red two. And he carries the ball for a nice game. stuff Reese thank you Michigan is lining up to kick this one off Webster from the four tackle at the 24 well late in the fourth quarter this game has been over for a long time and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. Well, some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. It's final. 31 to nothing, Michigan. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.